All right, another video. I have to sort of film all these together because I have a job. Um, but uh, greetings, uh, welcome to my slow descent into madness. Um, today's video is actually, you know, I like to, well, it's not today, it's nighttime as you can see in the window, but whatever. All right, um, you know, this video is sort of like, you know, we always like to put on our, you know, the Ferraris we own or the, the gold tiaras worth of toys that we own. Um, but sometimes you just stumble upon something that's just you know, amazingly cheap for what it does. And it's so great for what it does. You almost wonder like what amount of human suffering had to exist to make this thing so damn cheap. Um, I mean, even looking at the video camera here, uh, video camera again, you know, old, but looking at the, at, at even the picture here, you know, this thing looks a lot higher quality um, than it actually is. And that, that's not even fooling you. I mean, that, that that's what these things look like. Um, both these things were 20 bucks a piece, uh, and we're only at Walmart for a short period of time. Um, it was like right at the beginning of the, of the, of the global pandemic. So, you know, I don't know if they're even re-releasing these things or if it was just like, they, they made some error on the price of these, but you know, it's, it's Iron Giant Robbie the Robot. Now, again, I'm going by the usual back of the box kind of thing. You know, the boxes are long gone because I, I apologize. I, I tore into them like a rabbit animal. You know, there's no way that these things are going to be unboxed in any sort of civilized fashion by how awesome they are. You know, it's just torn apart like I'm, you know, like I'm like I'm some type of, you know, rabid beast or, or that I'm a starving man and this thing contains steak inside of it. Um, but the packaging wasn't anything to write home about, but it only had these two robots in the back. Uh, but the fact that this thing's 20 bucks is just outright amazing. So first we have here is Iron Giant. Okay, Iron Giant. What Iron Giant is, he's like the E.T. to Millennials. You know, and he's like one of the last properties Disney doesn't freaking own at this point. Um, and, and as you can see, when even when you get close, I mean, you do see some 20 bucks stuff like this very, very minor nick there. But if you're putting this behind glass or putting this like on a shelf um, and it's far enough, no one's not going to notice, you know, anything. Um, you know, it's got sort of the, the uh, gratuitous pose there, but that, that's, that, that's the money shot right there. See, look at that. Look at that. That's amazing for 20 bucks. You know, freaking Hasbro... You know, Hasbro won't do anything even remotely close to that at this point. Um, but not only that. Ah, okay, sorry about that. It's been behind glass for so long that I freaking, you know, I put it behind. He, he, uh, pro tip, pro tip to all you dorks out there. And if you're not a dork watching this, put your cheap stuff behind glass because a glass like makes it look more awesome. So, you know, take the, take the crap that you bought off like wish.com, put that behind glass and nobody knows. Your good stuff you leave out in the open because then people will see, oh, wow, this is really good. But, like, this is behind glass. And behind glass, I mean, this thing looks amazing. Um, but anyways, so you hit the button there. It walks. I mean, the thing fucking walks. Look at that. Look how awesome that is. And, again, Hasbro won't even do that for their other stuff. They charge arm and leg. But this is even, like, like they, like they could have stopped there and it would be worth 20 bucks. But here, you open it up. So it has this little unibeam or whatever Iron Giant calls it. Hey, look at it. That's amazing. I mean, I mean, this thing would sell in, in you know, in, in, in diamond for at least 50 bucks. But here I am, you know, buying it for 20 bucks at Walmart. It, it walks, it talks. Ah, it sounds like a, you know, it slices fries. I mean, this thing's amazing. And then if you want to go for the full-on Frankenstein, you just do this. You know, look at it. It's even got the articulated wrist, which, which a toy this cheap shouldn't even have. Shouldn't even have that many points of articulation, much less walk. Much less actually say quotes from the movie. See, I'm Superman. And I, I don't know if they even had to pay. Like, you think the rights alone would jack it up another five bucks to get the rights of Superman for him to say that. But I guess Superman's such a generic term at this point. But yeah, it, it's, it's, and of course, scalpers like freaking, you know, took this, you know, they, they freaking bought up all these things. And I luckily happened to get one because, you know, like everyone else, I have no life and going to Walmart at six in the morning. All right. But anyways, next one. All right. This is for the older farts out there. This is Robbie the Robot. All right. Robbie the Robot was in a, Bunch of things. Again, I'm, I'm too young to know what they were and too old to care. But if you look at it, I mean, one of the signs of toys is just the amount of paint applications that a toy has to go through. Um, here you have, I mean, you got silver, you got blue, you got the yellow. I, I mean, that alone and, and different colored buttons here. I mean, this thing should no way should this thing cost 20 bucks. All right. You got the articulated arms here and the rotating wrists, which, uh, our friend Iron Giant had over there. Okay, he's on, I left him on. But, ah! Ah, 
because of the arms. All right, what happened? Who messed with this? Sorry. Okay. I'm going to put him on the ground and see if that improves him. Technical difficulties, but you know, one of his legs was out a little bit. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I take that back, take back everything I said. Yes, it's 20 bucks, but uh, obviously there's a little bit of quality control here that slipped through. Uh, I swear to God, this thing was walking normally a couple months ago when I bought it, but basically what's happening here is this leg is just sort of getting caught. Um, you know, so he'll work, but this one will face plant a little bit. And I don't know if that's just, see, see here that click there? That's a leg sort of catching in a place there. Uh, but again, I've owned this thing now for several months um, and just put it in display case. So I don't know if, if that's necessarily a sign, but, but the cool thing is, is that when you move it to off and you hit the button, for your convenience, it I still talks. To to the name Robbie. So it's not completely at a loss here. It's just a walking motion. You know, Welcome to Altair Board, gentlemen. I'd still say this thing's worth way more than 20 bucks. Um, but yeah, so if you can find these at Walmart, Iron Giant and Robbie the Robot, um, definitely worth 20 bucks. Best $20 action figures I spent. Uh, I guess the most bang for your buck you can find. But again, Robbie's already going for like 50 bucks on Amazon. So uh, good luck with that. But just be aware that. You know, you might have a leg problem like I did on mine. Um, but as you know, you know, you can buy a $300 action figure and there'll be some stupid little paint thing. And then, you know, because you bought it months ago, it's not going to resolve itself. I think what happened was Robbie sat in the case for so long in a certain pose that his leg just sort of gave way. But, you know. All right. Well, until next time, uh, thank you for watching. And, and uh, I guess as a catchphrase, I'll say till all are one.